What's going on, everybody? We're here, Seventh Column Radio. I'm TK, your resident titan. I am uh, Fate Spiral, the resident hunter. And we're finally doing an episode after the holidays. How are your holidays, Fates? Ah, pretty good. I can't complain. I'm uh, kind of happy they're over. <laughs> kind of get back to normal, you know. I've been. I can feel that. I can feel that. Um, I use this time like to kind of honestly. I played some D2, like I had a few comp matches, one in particular we're going to talk about because it was insane, um, but more than anything I kind of took it as a break to like get away, take a nice little rest because honestly this season's been a little lackluster so far, like I... The weapons that were there with their loot rolls, they weren't really worth something I wanted to chase. I got my rolls and then I was out. Um, comp has been okay, but Arbalist is everywhere. Um, it's like the new recluse. I'm sure you're happy with that. <laughs> I mean, I like that it's that I'm not crazy, uh, but. You crazy uh, I, like, never. I like you know I like being the uh, you know the guy using the arbalist you know now it's just like it oh. gets you're not you're not uh, it's all mainstream now so you're not the cool kid anymore exactly <laughs> exactly on the one hand I agree with you that that gun was really good all the time and it has been but when they've done changes as far as armor 2.0 and everything I feel like it actually gained more bullet magnetism it's kind of insane. Um, I've gotten kills that I shouldn't have because it's like I the dude was behind a wall. I feel bad. Um, yeah. But getting back to we're I'm getting back into the swing of it. It's been nice to kind of take a break, break, relax, don't get the burnout. I mean, as a PvP player, that's honestly the easiest thing to get in De Destiny Two. I mean, you can get your god rolls all day long, but getting burnout is very easy because there's not much to do other than play the PvP. There's not really much to chase. Uh, they, I wish they added more to it. That's my thing. I so I see it a lot on Twitter or not Twitter, um, Reddit, where people will be, oh, you know, Destiny isn't a game that you can sit and play for. It's not supposed to be a game that you could sit and play for five years. But I did it with the first one. Yeah. Um, why can't the second one be that way? I mean, uh, it's not there currently. I Like you said, we've both kind of taken breaks from it. Well, I mean, one of the things that I miss the most is the vendor refreshes. Like, every time a season pass came, uh, that, a, a, yeah. d a DLC came out, I could guarantee that every vendor had a new set of weapons. They weren't bringing old weapons back. But that every vendor had new sets of weapons, and they were going to have new roles. And that's kind of missing, and you can tell. That's like, that was the chase. Yeah, the, the, there's just a, like a lack of loot almost in a game that's built around... Loot. Uh, loot, you know, and collecting and all I mean, that kind of stuff. As it is when a pass comes out now, it's like, I am looking for three to... In this case, this season, six guns. Three from the Pinnacles. And then three exotics. And, I mean, that's cool and all, but, like, this week, for example, there's nothing going on. There's no event. There's nothing to make me come back for this week. So, I mean, I'm playing. I'm getting my, uh, my Fractal Lion and helping for the Empyrean Foundation next week and whatnot. But... As far as stuff for this week, I got nothing. I'm just playing comp here and there. Speaking of comp yeah. and ma our matches and whatnot, we got to get our clip of the week for in. This one was submitted to us via Discord. Um, if you have a, a clip that you like to submit, please join the Discord down below and submit it there. If you are unable to submit the clip to the Discord itself, you can link it to us and we can pull it from there. We appreciate all the clips that are submitted, and here we go. Opponent claimed zone A. That's 
two. Five minutes remain. <laughs> they thought they had you. There we have it, folks. That's our clip of the week. Congratulations to the lucky winner. Thank you so much for your submission. Back to much cop. How's your match has been? Uh, I have not played any comp in a while because it's just uh, there's honestly no, the, com uh, the Komodo is no not the Komodo is not uh, appeasing. It is, but I don't know. It's I hear it's actually it's better than Crooked enough. Fang, which is saying something because everybody uses Crooked Fang. It's just not enough. Uh, I can agree there. Banner brought me back. I played the shit on a banner. Uh, I got I got else. more of the enhancement enhanced mods I'm wanting. Um, I think what I mean as PvP players, what honestly we're wanting is like okay, let's take a trip in our time machine and go back to September twenty fourteen. Let me make sure that's right because I want to make sure twenty fifteen. Yeah. Are we? Ta you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think, if I'm re if I'm remembering correctly, let's see. 2015. I got it. Um, not September though. It was May, so I was a few months behind. Flashback, May 19th, 2015. House of Wolves is released. And with it, we have the game mode that we have been wanting back forever, Trials. Trials was a very, very unique game, both in play, how it worked, the way the loot was earned, and more importantly, what it provided play PvP players in-game-wise. Right now, the only way you can get in-game gear, like high stat gear, is all through PvE activities. And Bungie has said that they want us to play the game we want, the way we want, and that's all well and good. But then they do things like make it where I have to raid to get the higher level gear, which even then, it's just a chance at higher level gear. It's not, the stats on there, I, you can still get 50 level stats. Like, you're not going to be a guaranteed 60 plus drop. You Man, that's a potential at the stats you want. Exactly. <laughs> With Trials, your way to upgrade your gear was the Etheric Light. And Trials one of the one of the easiest, most consistent ways to get it. You didn't have to worry about getting a good PvE team together. You got your friends, you played a few cards, you got your boons, you did your thing, and you got out. And you got you got you uh You didn't even have to go flawless to get uh Etheric light. All you had to do was get to five straight. Um, That's right. It wasn't even toward the all the way to the end. You you only had to get halfway. I mean that was nice. It was very. It it really catered to the PvP players. I right. liked etheric light, and I liked the fact that it gave. That it was something you could get from trials. Um. I would like the system more now if, I don't know, I, I think PvP is just lacking uh, any sort of, I mean, like, end game obviously, but any sort of... Uh... It's like, honestly, PvP is an afterthought in the game. Like it, It's like PvP and Warframe. <laughs> if you don't play Warframe for the PvP, you play it because, oh, I got nothing else to do right now. I've honestly never touched. But I played two matches. Warframe. I played two matches and I beat everybody's ass with Excalibur. It was great. My my thing is, here's an example. You want to get prisms and ascendant shards and exotics and what have you to upgrade your armor and all that. You go do nightfall ordeals. The Thirty minute to an hour run, depending on your team and how well y'all are, you have a chance at prisms and shards and all that. I spend a week, and that's consider that's pushing. That's saying I'm winning and losing and all this other stuff to play the quick play playlist or anything that's not comp 
and I upgrade my Valor rank to Legend and I reset it, and I only get 10 Enhancement Cores. No Prisms, no Shards, no nothing. It's like, where's the reward for the time that I put into the into the crucible? And I, I agree. You know, it's it's <laughs> PvP is almost the redheaded stepchild. <laughs> which I mean, before before we really get oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Which is ironic because a lot of their changes and stuff uh, used to be, and you'll still see PVEers kind of complaining about it. But uh, they'll balance weapons because of PvP. Mm-hmm. But we can't get like a decent reward system. Are Are you kidding me? You exactly. <laughs> I mean, before we go really get into it, like we want to make sure that it's very clear that we're not being critical of the game itself. This is all coming from a constructive place. Like we want this game. Awesome. We're not trying to be. Yeah, it's because you know, we played D one. We played D one for hours. If you look at how much time I have put in that thing, I'm almost ashamed and a little <laughs> proud. <laughs> My wife may say that I'm an idiot, but I mean, I mean, you do what you you know you do what you enjoy. Exactly. And, uh, I like to think, uh, like the amount of and like think about it this way, like the amount of people that like. Destiny has kind of brought together over the years, not just through D1, but like D2 and oh, hell everything. Yeah. I mean, there's constant like feel good stories on Reddit about people like finishing their first raid or like back when Trials was a thing, you know, getting their first flawless or oh hell yeah, um, like there's all those. Um, there was on Reddit recently uh, a lady, or uh, yeah, it was a, a lady. She was she had made the post. Her husband, or now fiance, proposed to her with a ring shaped like a ghost. It had the diamond set in the center, and it was a ghost setting. It looked really cool. Like I, <laughs> if my if my wife actually liked Destiny, I would that that would be her ring. Um, they have all these stories, and we each have our own too. Like you, I've shared mine with you about the uh, vault of glass raid with the little kid, and then. I- I've had. Oh, there's just too many. There's exactly. Too many. Uh, things like uh, moments of triumph year one before Taken King came out. My buddy needed a skull loss run, finding someone at like three in the morning with the skull loss checkpoint just to get him that last bit. Like, yeah. Like the day up before uh, it all reset and all that, you know? I, I could I could understand that. I mean, hell, even just this last season, the way the way PvP changed and the way comp changed, I carried I think a total of five different guys to getting recluse. And I mean, don't get me wrong, they weren't heavy. Like they played, but all they needed was a good team and just a few changes, and we tore it up. Um, it's things like that that make us remember what the game was in D1 and what it could be what it could be I was about to say I I was going to say it's a shadow right now it's a shadow of what it could be but that sounds so negative and that's not what we're wanting to to, we're trying to say on this it's that right now it's good but it could be better yeah and that's one of the things that we're really hoping for the whole play how you want and all that it's just like uh, the Iron Banner quest. <laughs> they want us to play Iron Banner and everything. But they're really forcing us to use certain weapons. And don't get me wrong, some of them are good. Because it's a, the whole thing is supposed to be about mastery. And I, I can see what they're trying to get at. But they're going about it funky. Making uh, the one... I feel like the one thing that they could have done, like if they were going to do one thing to fix it, take out heavy. Do not make heavy a part of the quest. Because then you have matches where guys like me, when I first started trying to get the scout rifle kills, are matching with guys that are already at the rocket launcher part, and all they are worried about is heavy. They are not playing points. They are not trying to do anything. They're just trying to get their rocket launcher kills so they can start banking tokens. And I mean, I can feel that because by the time I got to the rocket launcher part, I was that point too. But it, this making heavy part of it like that—it's really meh. 
I feel like they should they could have done that better. I think they I so I think they should have either gone kind of generic y with the the bounty if they were going to keep it. Um, you know. I believe we talked about this before, uh off podcast. Um doing things like uh having having it be based, you know, primary kills special uh you know uh, primary special energy. super matches yeah. done yeah. something like that you still you have know? your four steps you still have everything you still have as capturing points as part of the step just don't confine it to where i have to use a scout rifle i have to use a whatever hell make it where each thing is part of each step where it's just, it gets an increasing amount of of things so like the first step you have to get 10 capture 10 zones 10 hand can or 10 primary kills uh 20 special kills and five super kills next step it doubles third step it doubles and now when you're down to the fourth step that's like hardcore but i mean you could have it where it could like it um adds on from the last one if they are higher level than you it gets bonus progress there's all kinds of stuff they could do with it but they just stick to the same formula that they had in the beginning. Well, really what it is <laughs> and it's it's meant to it's meant to time gate you, really. I mean, this isn't a negative knock. This is just how games work nowadays. It's meant to kind of time gate time gate you and hinder you and keep you playing. Um but eventually things like that kind of wear on people, you know? Uh, yep. They don't want to sit and do that. It's boring it's not con it's not actual like engaging content um and then you end up losing players and then you lose money and then you know you're out of game but and yeah. it's even more you know deadly because they're self-publishing now i so i totally agree with that it's like i got an i'm not an argument that's too strong of a word we were talking with somebody on Twitter, and he was like he, that he wanted to have somebody. He said that they should have a full, dedicated PvP team, like there obviously is for Eververse. And I said, I mean, you got to think about it realistically. From a business standpoint, you're asking them to create a team with, either from thin air with nobody, or people from uh, pull people from other projects to make them their PV all about PvP. When PvP so... does not make them any money right now. Eververse is the only thing that get they're getting money because there's no more disc sales. It's pay, uh, pay, uh, free to play. Like the money comes from Eververse right now. It's not just that. Uh, so compare um, sandbox updates, and people will do this in another game I play all the time. Um, they'll do it in RuneScape where they'll say, "Oh, well, there's a whole microtransaction or live events team," is what they call it. Um, and part of that team is responsible for microtransactions, so like skins, loot crates, and stuff like that. Uh, it is a lot easier for developers to sit and make cosmetics than it is to balance a weapon, create a new weapon design, put the perks in the pool, make sure the perks on, on the weapon within the archetype aren't broken. Well, th make definitely. sandbox changes. Play test it. So you're not. And nine times out of ten, the people doing um, like Eververse updates, I guarantee aren't aren't sk as skilled in that you know, that kind of area. Exactly. So That's you're not, not really take, you, yeah. You can't really take somebody away from something that they just can't do. Yeah. That's not what they were hired to do. Could they hire people to do that? Yeah, but we're. Then you're asking for money <laughs> out of thin air. What do you want to pay? Like, what do you want to pay for it? You know. So at some point, do you want to pay twenty dollars for a season pass? I don't personally. Uh, do you want to pay? Like, I mean, skins are or uh, Eververse stuff is a little bit expensive from time to time, but um, I don't really bother with it too much unless there's something I really like. I was about but... to say I throw a few dollars every season just to as I I look at it like. I'm contributing to the development of the game more than I'm buying something that I want in a video game. But um, it's like a donation to like, me almost. You're you're comparing apples to oranges there, you know. Like yes. it's not. 
what just because you're a developer doesn't mean or uh you know you work at bungie doesn't mean you work on everything like you know exactly and that's what the i, I was trying to get the guy to see and he uh didn't really like that um, no, people don't like being told you know, nope that, um, that, that they want is is wrong <laughs> speaking of things that are wrong total little segue but i gotta brag on myself I had a lovely stream arm viewer. The, the guy is amazing. Hanging out in my stream. And I have, uh, with Twitch's stream currency, I have a thing that they can redeem called Fight Forever in honor of Shax. And they get to pick my loadout for the match. And I was playing comp, and normally when I play comp, I turn that thing off. Because I do not want to use anything else. I want to use what I'm comfortable with, but I forgot to turn it off, and so I was just like, <laughs> first he makes me play all shotguns. So in comes the, what did I use? I used the Blasphemer uh, Slugshot, Mind Menders uh, Energy, and the Tractor Cannon. I got kills with everything, and I actually want, led my team, and we won. You love to see it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> he redeems it again. And he makes me play all snipers. Okay, yeah. that's my that's my forte. Revoker, Twilight Oath, and Darcy. Got kills with everything, led my team, we win. And I'm just like, all right. He's like, how many points do I have to pay uh, to use uh to make it where you you go super only? And I was like, <laughs> I jokingly said a number, and I said, for that kind of uh, cheer, I'll go ability only. He said, hold on real quick. He goes, he comes back, he cheers the bits, and we do an ability only match. <laughs> I feel so dirty. Like, I, I showered afterwards. <laughs> Insurmountable skull for, for instant uh, shoulder charge after kill. Double lightweight weapons, which, side note, when we're, t we're talking about uh, hidden things in game, lightweight frame weapons give you a 10 mobility regardless. It's uh, what it's a, makes the thorns so fucking great. Bingo. They don't tell you that, but it gives you a 10 mobility. So if you get used to being able to swap to the other one that's not... You can actually pull off some stuff. So what I did, I put two crappy lightweight weapons so I would be discouraged from using them. So I could haul butt around the map. Dune Marchers, which... Second hidden perk of... the Y'all are getting all kinds of hidden stuff tonight. Hidden perk on Dune Marchers actually gets increased slide distance. So you won't slide further. So the trick if for you... Oh no, I, I take it back. I didn't put uh, Doom Marchers. I put Traction on it. Because I tried a match where I used Doom Marchers later and it didn't work right. I had Instagram I was going for it because I had to get the melee back. Traction to get a little tighter turning speed. And then I got my uh, discipline and strength up to where everything was cooling down in under a minute. <laughs> yeah. I finished the match with 16 kills. No You're shots bad. fired. <laughs> You're bad. Oh, I felt so dirty. I actually got. There's, a, I got a, a special place in hell for you. <laughs> I was about to. I literally said that while we were while I was doing. It. I was like, I feel with each shoulder charge, my spot in heaven getting further away. <laughs> like. Normal people go to hell. You're gonna end up in super hell. <laughs> <laughs> super hell. <laughs> so, what was really cool is there was one play. I it was on rusted lance. I came down from heavy, and I was gonna grab it, but then I decided, no, I'm gonna come out and just see if I get somebody on the outside. So I ran, and as soon as I turned the corner, the, I shoulder charge and I connect with a warlock and a titan. So I kill two dudes with one shoulder charge, so, and I immediately oh, wow. jump up in the air and I turn around and I see the third and I throw both pulse grenades at him, <laughs> and I got him too. Oh, it was. Beautiful. Needless to say, that loadout was the most fun, whacked out loadout I've ever played with, and it got saved into Dim so I can play with it again because I love that thing. 
<laughs> oh, it was so good. The The next match we were playing, we played against somebody that was harder, and I was using my normal stuff, and we were losing. <laughs> and uh, one of our 7CR boys was playing with us, and he, he, he literally said out loud, can you switch back to Skullford and stop shooting things? Well, I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really fun so there's y'all's encouragement try playing really whack things you might find something you like yeah I uh, I can dig that that's <laughs> that's funny oh it was great next up is, only, is gonna be throwing knife only hunter I like the sound of that have you tried it I have uh, the throwing knife or, or just in general I like, played with it some I I've played with it some. I like the knife. Uh, the super timer still throws me off. I don't like it. Yeah, I I, I don't like the timer on it. I've wasted my super so many times because I think I'm gonna find somebody and nope. I even try to like play smart with it, and it just I don't know. There's no playing smart. You just gotta go balls to the wall. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like well, not even just that, but like I like I'll pop it like aggressively, and because I'll be like, all right, there's gotta be people here. It's like. B point, you know, there's gotta be people here. Like and nope. then like <laughs> it's like a ghost town. I'm just like, oh. I'm really okay. I'm trying to get a better feel with it, uh, because I use the Ophidia space so I get two. And yeah. I go with the melee or the dodge that gives me back the melee if somebody's close. Yep, that's and what I normally run. Oh, because you run Dragon Shadow. This takes away your Dragon Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> You sound so sad. Yeah. Dragon, Sh Dragon Shadow is so good, man. I'm not going to argue that one. It definitely is. Um, What ends up happening, though, we get there, and I, I'm i trying to get the, t the, uh, the distance that people need to be in in order to get it to proc. Because I can go on sprees with that knife. It's great. But then I get stuck in a situation where I don't have it charged and I'm trying to charge it by dodging and then they're just out of range and then I'm screwed. Yep. <laughs> I've, uh... Story of my life! I like the knife. I like the change there. I've been wanting that for a while. Uh, it's almost... They just, uh, they need to bring back my old trip mines. Ooh. And, my, and give me an ex... I will take off the dragon shadow when Bungie gives me an exotic that makes my timer longer on my golden gun. And then you will never use anything else. I know you. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I will golden gun everyone. There's another thing talking about rusted lands. Um, we're going to test it. We got, we're going to go to the lab for y'all. We're going to check and see. Because when you play rusted lands, if you played it in D1 and you play it now, you will know that something just feels funky. It doesn't feel the same, even though it looks generally the same map. A theory was brought up in the 7CR Discord that it might be because movement in D2 fundamentally is faster. So it feels smaller. Which would in turn make sense because then the Shores of Time map it feels funny, too. And I always attribute it to that they move things. Like, there's a, a rock now that covers uh, when you're staring from C to B. You actually have yeah. to go further over to see it. Whether that's it or not, who knows. But if that is right, then uh, we'll be able to... I mean, that'll be something to think about. That when you... We could actually have a debate of whether or not that the movement in D1 was better in terms of speed. Because, I mean, the time to kill right now is okay. Um, I feel like it's a whole other topic, like primaries. I feel like primary time to kill is too slow. I would agree with that. It's I like, feel like... I feel like with everything in Destiny, at least in D2... It's a pendulum, and, and I mean, they, they like to swing from, you know, MMO, RPG type feel to action game, and yeah. right now I feel we are in the action game part of the, uh, the pendulum swing, where 
they're trying to make Destiny something that it's in all reality it's not. I mean, like, is it an action game? Sure, but yeah, it's more of an FPS. Yeah, it's I, a... I never liked that description of of the game really. Um, yeah. I don't know why they insist on using it as the description, but yeah, you know, Bungie will. Uh... Bungie. <laughs> to say the least. I don't know. Like, if it is, that's something to talk about. Primaries. It's like, why use a primary when I can one-shot it with a sniper? If I'm confident in my aim and I'm good with my aim, I don't have to worry about a follow-up. Exactly. Um, if, I, if I know what, what kill range my shotgun is in and I get the shot... I don't have to worry about a follow-up. I, I, I can charge up a, a fusion shot. I don't have to worry about a follow-up. So the, it doesn't matter what I use in conjunction with it. I mean, yeah, you want to have stuff paired up in case you're out of ammo. But realistically, you run a, 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 a linear fusion, usually. Arbalist, or I'll run a uh, revoker. Or, uh, okay, so, so you're just like me. I'll run, yeah, I'll run a beloved uh, thorn combo. When you run those... Realistically, how often do you find your, yourself out of special? Mm, rather frequently. Um, really? Do you, you do, put, do you put scavenger mods on? Uh, no, no. Okay. If you put I mod for other things. If you um, put scavenger mods on, you'll never run out. Uh, then again, I will take uh, I will take shots that I more than likely will miss. But uh, if I hit them, <laughs> it looks really good on the highlight reel. <laughs> We hit those! <laughs> I mean, like... Uh, fuck. Um, you know, it's... Uh, you can't win them all, but... I'm damn well gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna think, you know? I can agree to that. It's just... It's so funky. I just... I, I, I Then even... again, I play kind of aggressive. I play aggressive, too. I just, with my sniping... I tend to find that I can stay alive quite often because I'm not in the thick of crap, and I know my movement. I know my Titan like the back of my hand, so I can pull stuff off, and uh, that's how I stack up ammo. I mean, there's times where I have three shots in the in the mag and like seven in reserves, so I have ten shots. And what is it? Comp? You have three lives and then nine, so twelve. If I stay alive, I only have to worry about two, my teammate getting two kills. They can get two kills. I can pull it off. Because there are times I in comp where I don't die. It's I just can't get the damn 20 kills for whatever that medal is. You're, uh, you're asking a lot there for your teammates to get two kills, buddy. Oh, <laughs> hey. I'm like Shax. I believe in my blueberries. I, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Banner was rough with him. I will say that. Right? And, Banner without uh, a team this time around. Oh my gosh! Do not. I, I think it's, it's so skill bad. Based, skill based matchmaking. I don't coming into. It might be. It was bad. Um, but then again, it could go back to like we said with the quest. I finished it. Um, I I really try and not judge the Iron Banner play until like the second one or third one because by that time almost everybody's done the quest i was actually able to finish both my titan and my hunter this time around which was quite a feat for me um usually after the first uh character through the iron banner quest line i'm dead inside <laughs> <laughs> i'm dead inside <laughs> uh i mean the skull four brought me back to life i guess <laughs> What was really impressive, though, I did that, and I played like that, and I got no hate mail. <laughs> I thought for sure, with me shoulder-charging everybody and not firing a single shot, somebody was going to message me saying, Why do you play like that, you chicken shit? <laughs> Nothing. That's very surprising. No kidding! I was just like... If I, I was waiting for it, like I didn't queue back up and I got nothing. It's like, 
I guess I didn't play scummy enough. I do I do I do I? Oh, here's the question. Here's the question. Did you bag? No. Okay, there you go. Even when they started to, and anybody who's played with me knows that if you want to get me, like, I'll play. I'm having fun. I'm calm. I'm relaxed. It's great. They emote or teabag me or one of my teammates. I focus up hardcore and I play like ten times harder. And I'm okay with the bag if you're, uh, you know, you hit something impressive. All right, you know what? You deserve it. Take it. Uh, I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> yeah. But if you're bagging because, like, I don't know, you shot me across the map with a rocket, like, <laughs> just get out of here, kid. <laughs> just, 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 just go. No, I'm fine until you do that. Like anybody will t that I've pl played comp with will tell you, when that happens, it turns into an ass whooping because <laughs> I just. <sighs> I'm all about sportsmanship and everything. I'm all about having fun, cool, but I know it, it's it's a silly thing. But yeah, I mean, it's it does. I mean, like if people if it, people it, start bagging for no reason, it's it's game on. You know, you're... <laughs> what was it? Uh, I saw some meme where they say when somebody teabags you in this crucible and it had shacks up top, and then uh, you know the old uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Like the one where they're like horrible, like puppet characters, practically. Yes. Um, it had uh, Mikey, and it says it's Cowabunga time. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> That's how I play. They tee back. It's Cowabunga time, <laughs> or Cowabunga it is. It says or something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I get that. We'll uh, tweet it out from the Seven CR Radio thing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Be on the lookout for it. <laughs> um. um. I don't know. But, but yeah, um, I didn't even bother with Banner. I, 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 I don't like the bounty. I don't like the premise behind it. I think I would have less issue with it if, uh, say, it was account-wide. Yeah, I can agree to that. I mean, if they were able to make the tri the uh, not trials, <laughs> wished. Um, if they were able to make the season quest account-wide, there you should be able to make it. Next week, the Imperian Foundation. Here's to hoping it's trials related. I mean, I, I hope. <laughs> I was I I was corrected by that whole same fourteen uh, line that uh, you fight like an animal. Apparently, yeah. that's uh, that's a possible piece of dialogue when you're saving him in the mission. Uh, so I never heard it. So, hmm. but I was corrected, and I wanted to put throw that out there. But uh, trials of the saints sound pretty ass. Sounds pretty awesome. I'll take that. I would take that. I would take anything at this point. <laughs> have you played Elimination? Like just for fun? Uh, no, I have not. I haven't really touched Destiny recently. Uh, That's what you we ought to do. You, me, and we grab one of our seven CR guys. Oh, but no, we don't have to play on PC. Yep. Um, the lack of just end game PvP has kind of got me. Like, yeah, they come out with the guns every season or whatever, but in reality, so like um, last season when um, what's that shotgun? The Blasphemer came out? The Kinetic? Uh, yeah, it's Slug Shotgun, right? Bingo! Uh, there's no difference between that or the Gnor's Axe. Or running like, uh, what's the other one? Like a good bone structure. Um, well, the draw to that one, the draw to it was the fact that it's a kinetic, so it yeah, opens up it's... it opens up energy weapons. So like you could actually run blasphemer with Luna's blasphemer with Let's not see. forgotten. People were kind of, um, I don't know. I think it kind of got a little bit more hype than it should have because there's really no difference between that and the axe. Like perk, like perk wise, wise, yeah, I, you're totally right. I can totally agree gun. with you on that. It's um, just the draw was the fact that it was a different slot, yeah. so it opened up other guns, so you can use um, those. Um, you know, it's it's. I mean, there's just I don't know. There's I don't know. It's it's weird. I feel like we had more options 
or more variety in D1. Maybe it's just my nostalgia kicking in, but I feel like it was just, I don't know. Like, yeah, I know a lot of people were, were, were running, like, Matadors, and, like, that was, like, the shotgun, but, like, I don't, I don't know. I had a lot more fun in PvP then than I do now, and maybe it's just, like, I don't know. People used to look for Iron Banner because it offered... Uh, a way to like if they couldn't raid that they could get higher level gear or if they didn't yeah. like PVE, um, other than trials. And now it's just kind of like, oh, Iron Banner's here. Okay, you know. I guess cool. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, the gear's no different. The guns are the same. You know, it's it's kind of stale. It I, needs people something. Have been, people have been asking for vendor refreshes, for, even for them just to start putting more like. Just put all the old year one guns back in the loot pool. Yeah. And, you know, give them the ability to get random rolls. Like, what, what's it going to hurt? You know? Um, anything. I mean, there, there's just been nothing, and it's just kind of disappointing. Um, yeah. And like you said, I mean, earlier with the uh, the Ascendant Shards or whatever, um, like, why can't I get prisms from playing PvP? Yeah. Why why is the way I want to play and the things that I want to do I have the perfect like, solution oh, you... to making it to throwing them in. Make it where once you are on a five streak, every match that you keep that five streak alive yeah. has a chance to, a greater chance to keep it up. So like basically make it okay, you get five, you have a like let's say just to give it a number of ten percent chance. Second, uh, you get a, you're on your six streak, six uh, thirty percent chance, so on and so up. When you're on ten matches in a row of one, you are guaranteed one prism every time you win. I mean, I would like that. When you run the or- or de- ordeal, you actually get have a chance of getting like five or six in an hour. I mean, ten minutes for a crucible match, and that you have to get a keep a winning streak. I mean, that's fair. I would even I would even be okay if it was. Uh, tied to something time exclusive like the Iron Banner, something you know, something to make that that game like so like what does I mean <laughs> make, make prisms and ascent and uh, shards available from trials or uh, playing the too. elimination game type. Yeah, I mean that too from trials would be great, but like if we're I mean even so even back in D one so even back in House of Wolves you could get etheric light from Iron Banner. Right. Why? Why can I? Why, like, why can I not get shards now? Like, I don't want to sit and run ordeals for forever. Exactly. You know? I mean, I, with, there's so many things that we could do with it, and we could go on and on, around and around, and the bounce ideals of everything. And we, like I said earlier in the podcast, as we're wrapping up now, I want to make it clear that we're not. The game. It's all, it's we all lo- coming from a place of, you know... Constructive care. criticism, because we love this game. We want this game to do well, and we know it can do well. It's done well in the past. It's done well. <laughs> it's just... You can't lie to me. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> I know you're hiding the good the good part of Destiny, Bungie. I know it's, I know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> They're saving for themselves. It's developer only. <laughs> it probably is. Fucking... <laughs> Got Deej and you know all them, uh, you know, back there. Oh, this is, this is some good. Just, <laughs> this is some serious gourmet game right here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's gonna be it for us here at Seven CR. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us for another week. We're trying to get it this going where we're a little more consistent for y'all. We really appreciate y'all hanging through the episodes and sticking with us as we're trying to get everything straightened out. That's going to be it for me. If you want to catch me personally live, you can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash Tibbercat. I have a Twitter as well, Tibbercat. And I do occasionally post the meme-tastic YouTube video on YouTube. So just search for Tibbercat, and I'm pretty sure you'll find me. Uh, yeah, uh, you can find me at uh, fates underscore pyro or just fates, uh, fates pyro with the space uh, pretty much anywhere. YouTube, uh, Instagram. Twitch, YouTube, uh, pretty much anywhere, you know, rolling on the ground. Rolling Um, on the ground. (laughs) (laughs) That's going to be it for us here, and we'll see y'all next time.